Hi, today I am going to explain you about bacterial growth curve. In this session, I will explain you clearly about growth, generation time, bacterial cell division, growth curve and different phases of growth curve and total count and viable count. Let's see about what is growth. This is bacterial cell with DNA. When you provide proper pH and temperature along with suitable culture along with suitable culture medium then this cell will increase in its size and later which is followed by multiplication from here to here the changes which are happening inside the bacteria when you provide proper pH, temperature and culture medium are defined as growth. And what is generation time? The time taken by the single bacterium cell to produce two daughter cells. That means from here to here. The time taken by the single bacterium cell to produce two daughter cells is known as generation time. Most of the medically important bacteria are having a generation time of 20 minutes but whereas some special bacteria like mycobacterium tuberculosis it is having a generation time of 20 hours and mycobacterium leprae is having a generation time of 20 days when you provide proper ph temperature and suitable culture medium for the bacteria a single bacterium cell within 24 hours it can form 10 to the power of 21 cells which is equal to 4000 tons but this will not happen in the reality because after some cell divisions the cell division will be stopped due to the accumulation of toxic products and nutrients will get exhausted so this will not happen in the reality this is about generation time now let's see about bacterial cell division Bacterial cell will divide by binary fission. Will divide by binary fission. Every bacterial cell will have a single copy of double standard DNA. But during the time of replication, the DNA will undergo further replication and it will produce two copies of DNA. Once the two copies of DNA is formed, the two copies of DNA, each DNA will move to the corner of the cell. Once the DNA is moved to the corner of the cell, a transverse septa is formed inside the cytoplasm. The cell wall protrudes into the cytoplasm forming a transverse septa and cell wall material will get deposited and it will result in the formation of cell wall. Once the cell wall is formed, now the cells will get separated. These are the sequence of changes happening inside the bacteria during the time of replication. First, DNA replication. Single copy of DNA will be present in the bacteria but during the time of replication the DNA will undergo further replication process and two copies of DNA we will have and once the two copies of DNA is formed each copy will move to the corner of the cell DNA movement to the corner once the DNA is moved to the corner a transverse septa is formed transverse septa is formed once transverse septa is formed uh, cell wall material will get deposited and daughter cells will get separated. These are the new daughter cells. This is how multiplication happens inside the bacteria. So, growth is finished, generation time is finished and bacterial cell division is also, is also finished. Now let's see about what is bacterial growth curve. 
when you inoculate a sample on a suitable culture media suitable culture media and if you determine the counts and if you determine the counts at different intervals then if you plot them against to the time which results in the uh, growth curve when you inoculate a sample on a culture media specific culture media after inoculating the sample on the after inoculating the sample on the specific culture media and if you make the counts that means if you determine the counts of such culture media at different intervals and if you plot them against to the time then you will get the growth curve the growth curve will be like this here you have to take number of cells and here it is time and the growth curve will be like this okay from here to here it is called lag phase this growth curve is divided into four phases one is lag phase and another one is log phase which is known as second phase and third one is stationary phase which is known as third stage and last one is fourth phase that is decline phase so in the growth curve we are having four types of stages or phases first we will talk about lag phase immediately after inoculating the sample inside the culture media the bacteria will not undergo for any multiplication first bacteria will take some time to get adapt with this environment during this lag phase during this lag phase the bacteria will uh, collect all the nutrients and all the metabolic requirements which are required for the multiplication process so during this lag phase there will be no increase or there will be no decrease in the cell counts so this is the first phase and second phase is log phase here actually the cell division will start here actually the cell division will start and you can see here a straight line is present that means it indicates that rapid growth rapid growth of bacteria takes place in this stage and next is stationary phase after reaching this stage at this stage all the nutrients all the nutrients will get exhausted in the stationary phase all the nutrients will get exhausted and toxic products and and the toxic products will get accumulated in the stationary phase nutrients will uh, nutrients will get exhausted and toxic products will get accumulated as a result there will be no cell division and progeny cells and that means the newly formed daughter cells are sufficient enough to replace the dead cells so there will be no increase or decrease in the cell count during this stationary phase that's why this is called stationary phase and the last phase is decline phase here what happens is along with the defects of the stationary phase like nutrients are exhausted and toxic products are accumulated and along with that autolytic enzymes sorry autolytic enzymes autolytic enzymes which are released by the autolytic bacteria will act on the cells and they will kill the cells as a result the cell count will be decreasing as a result the cell count will be decreasing and this line indicates total count total count see here total count total count includes dead cells plus living cells the total count includes dead cells and living cells but whereas this line indicates only viable cells the viable cells will decrease as the time is 
increasing because nutrients are exhausted and toxic toxic products are accumulated and along with this autolytic enzymes are also released by the autolytic bacteria as a result the viable cell count decreases as the time is increasing but total count will never decrease because total count includes dead cells plus living cells thank you please like and subscribe for the our youtube channel that is lighting minds this is the first youtube channel youtube channel for medical laboratory technology students thank you